Hi, hello, it's summer and I'm sweating a lot. It is me, Fernando, and it is hot. It's it's very hot. It's something like 30, 35 degrees today, and I am sweating. And I really hate summer. Why is summer in New York so horrible? I can't stand it. I finally bring to you many summer outfits, as well as, I guess you could say, hot weather inspiration outfit thing. Or at least what I think is somewhat decently wearable for hotter weather. I do want to put it out there that a lot of my clothes are either vintage or from consignment stores. So that means they're second hand, which means that it's not all that possible to buy the pieces at the moment. But I will do my best to link to similar looking pieces down below in the description box. So please do check that out because, you know, it takes a decent amount of time to find them. And, you know, moving along, here is the first outfit. Yes, it is by Daisy, an Australian brand. I have bought some of these pieces, but I do want to say that some of them were given to me. You can see this dress pop up so many times, and I've even worn it in a previous video as well, I believe. The material looks thick, it's not really that thick. And you can choose to wear the sleeves up or down, so you have some ventilation. When I'm out, I walk a lot, so sometimes I prefer to wear sneakers instead. Okie dokie, this top is vintage that I bought from Etsy and this skirt is by a British designer called Charlotte Knowles. This is impossible with every single long skirt but the elastic with this one is quite tight so I'm actually able to pull this skirt up over my chest and wear it at the dress. I do recommend doing this unless you're confident that the dress won't fall down. And yes, these are thigh high boots because I'm an idiot who wears thigh high boots in summer. I like that it shows just the peak of skin. But of course, it looks good with regular sandals as well. Not sure how people are feeling about Victoria's Secret nowadays, but these pieces aren't the newest ones, so I can save myself. <laughs> While it looks cute as a two-piece set, if you hike the skirt up just a little bit and secure it with some pins, you can pass it off as a dress. Maybe. Maybe not. You're going to see a lot of dresses. <laughs> Another Victoria's Secret dress. This one in particular is vintage that I bought on eBay for $15. I'm a fan of wearing mesh long sleeves underneath sleep dresses. And when you do that, I think it's better to have your hair out of your face otherwise you sort of disappear. Especially if you have a fringe like me. This top is also from eBay and it's dead stuff. This white fluffy thing was originally supposed to be a nightgown or some sort of bed wear thingy. But when I got it, it was a bit damaged at the bottom, so I just cut it all. The cardigan is from Uniqlo and it's an extra large mess. Maybe you're thinking, oh gosh, that skirt is so short, I could never wear that. No, this is not a skirt, it's actually a skirt because this one in here is actually short. It's more like a skirt. Okay, this outfit. Technically being fully covered up, it looks a bit naked. For bodycon dresses especially, it's easy to just treat it as a long top. So here is a very princessy ruffle skirt. I believe I bought this in some random vintage store in Korea. Because the waistband of the skirt is black, it sort of disappears into the top and sort of ruins the proportion. But worry not, once again, my safety pin appears. 
and then we'll have to hack it up higher to make it more empire wasted. The first corset has appeared. This corset is by Camp and it was originally designed to be a back brace. These shorts were made for square dancing and I'm the kind of person who if I like something I have to buy it. Every single colour that I can get my hands on. I think this next outfit is a good example of why your footwear choice is very important. So here it is with those same sneakers. And then here are some fucking sandals, which makes it look much more dressed up. And then here it is on some boots, which makes it really lazy looking. This dress is supposed to be sleepwear or used as a nightgown. I just wear it as a dress though. There's a brand out there that sells a skirt that looks almost exactly like this vintage one I have. This is the box that it came in and this is what the skirt looks like. It's plastic burning, so it's not the most uncomfortable. I still prefer not to close it all the way and I just put shorts underneath. Because I'm stingy, I like to get the most bang for my bottom. So I try to buy things that I can mix and match with my existing wardrobe. As you've probably realised by now, I like to wear really tone or outfits. And here's a little trick that we use when shooting on set. When your belt doesn't come with enough flips, you can just use some double-sided tape to stop the belt from flopping around everywhere. There's a brand that I've noticed a lot of stylists using called Topstick. This outfit is definitely on the more inspirational side. I took Creepy Yaha as my inspiration for this because I absolutely love her. The harness at the top is also made by her. And I have to point out that along with her boyfriend, they both hand make every single piece that she sells. They already own a bra that's in a similar shade to your skin tone. I really highly recommend that you buy one. The one that I'm wearing underneath this dress isn't even an exact colour match, but as you can see, it is it is anyway. Most of the time when I'm running errands and stuff, I just wear really oversized long sleeve shirts. Or otherwise, I wear something like uni clothes, airism, look sleeve, whatever it's called, and then put another shirt on top of that. This top is from Rude Formation that I found at a second hand store. I'm sure it's actually made by my friends. If 
here in Green is in a somewhat similar color to your skin tone and required. And just a few more tips here, such as using a matching colored rubber band if your belt doesn't have enough loops. longer pieces into a wide belt and if you tuck it in well enough you shouldn't fall down or at least I haven't really experienced the falling down Especially if you're a lazy person like I am, you have the comfort of wearing something that's like track pants but in a really chic looking material. So it looks like you actually put effort in what you're wearing. This thing is creepy inside, but it's on the turn down side. Congratulations, you made it to the end. I know a lot of people will ask what these kind of videos are. So I'll try my best to do more of them. No guarantees, but I'm watching. Bye. I'm going to complain a little bit. I would recommend going to eBay and buying vintage nightwear stuff, dresses, slips, and whatnot. But there are a lot of vintage resellers that buy cheap stuff off eBay and resell them on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy. And this dress came in a lot of colors. And I'm not exactly a fan of this, so just putting it out there that you can buy a lot of these same pieces much cheaper if you search for it properly.